Now, write this down. Promotion from God brings satanic attention. Okay? Which means this. As you grow in God, you get ready for some pot shots. And the first ones will come from within the organization usually you belong. Because the jealousy, the red-eyed, mon- the green-eyed monster whose eyes turn red will show himself. But there's someone who's not jealous of you who sees that excellence in you. Has nothing to do with your age. Because Abraham didn't do his best till he was 100. 100 years old. Buddy, then I tell you, you talk about become a man of faith, start having babies at 100. You know, that's a long time to wait to start a family. (laughs) But he serves in El Shaddai. Elohim. Whoo, Lord. El Elyon. A Jehovah Jireh. A Jehovah Shammah. A Jehovah Sid Canoe. Why couldn't he just give himself one name? Because none of it fits. He's big. Because an ex- excellent spirit was in him. And the king said, I got to get this guy over everything. He's thinking, this, is the, this man is my man. But he's a slave. Who cares? Yeah, but you don't understand. We're better than him. He's not Babylonian. So that's not the issue. The issue is the king is thinking, how do I keep my kingdom from having damage? Have you ever thought if you're a minister of the gospel, if you're a minister of the gospel, lift your hand up. That you ever thought that God was looking at you and, and only called you for one reason, to stop the damage of the kingdom of God or the kingdom of heaven on the earth. That he sees something you may not see. Or maybe your church doesn't see. Or maybe it's your friend doesn't see. But God sees. Now I want to deal with this excellence of spirit. What, what, what it produced in his life. What gave him his future. Now write this down then I'm going to deal with this. I'll give you a little time. Excellence of spirit. Because an excellent spirit was in him. Produces purpose. Daniel was a man of purpose. Which means I will not eat the king's meat. No, you don't understand. You got to do whatever. Yeah, just give, give me a shot. You got to trust the God that trusts you. Excellent spirit produce purpose. If you're going to have an excellent spirit, you got to be a person of purpose. See, giving is done by purpose, not by need. That's why everybody's always trying to get more money. That's why there's so many needs. If God was moved by need, he'd never get out of Africa. He'd never get out of India. I got there more need than you can ever shake a stick at. He ain't moved by need. He never told you to finance poverty. Now, I'm going to say something going to make somebody mad. A lot of missions work is nothing but finance poverty. Nobody ever gets out. It's from year to year to year to year. Yet Jesus said, the spirit of the Lord God's upon me, for he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. What message was the, they, they were saying, you don't have to be poor no more. I refuse to finance your poverty. I give you an anointing to eradicate it. Do you see that? Now, when you say, yeah, but uh, you're already defeated. The devil said, we ain't got to work today. They're going to defeat themselves. Let's stay home and just take a nap. Now, what made him such a man? Excellent spirit produces purpose, which means purpose is loyalty to Christ. When a person has formed his purpose, he is halfway to victory. If you're going to have an excellent spirit, you've got to be a person of purpose. Purpose is loyalty to Christ. Purpose affords you anchorage in the time of storm. An excellent spirit will not only get you there, it'll get you out of there. Purpose, prayer, perception, and power constitute an excellent spirit. Order your copy today 